Well, hello there, my darlings, and happy Christmas. I hope you guys have all had the most wonderful Christmas time with your loved ones. As I'm filming this, it is currently Christmas Eve. As I mentioned at the end of Vlogmas, I did want to do a little kind of memory video of this Christmas. It is, of course, our first proper Christmas here in the new house where we are allowed family over and I wanted to share what we're doing, what we're eating and I thought I would also do like a little summary of the few days of my outfits as well. As you might be able to hear I'm still suffering a little bit from my cold <laughs> but I feel like today is the last day so hopefully tomorrow for Christmas day I should feel good. So yeah it's Christmas Eve at the moment, it's about half past four in the afternoon, we have spent pretty much the whole day prepping food, Charlie has been getting the stuffing ready, we've got the gravy done, we're halfway through doing the broccoli and cauliflower cheese, um, what else have we done so far? Um, Charlie is currently preparing the turkey, we've been getting a lasagna ready for tonight, so tonight we are cooking for 11 people, and then Charlie's auntie Annie and her partner Richard are coming tomorrow, so then it'll be 13 of us for Christmas day. Currently everyone is relaxing downstairs, either watching a Christmas film, Charlie, myself and Charlie's mum Viv are in the kitchen. So yeah, currently it's just quite nice and chilled and we're feeling very much on top of things. I have just popped in my lovely Soru earrings and then I've got on my And Other Stories jumper dress and also my lovely sleeper <laughs> slippers just for being cosy but also fairly chic while doing the Christmas Eve errands. Um, but yeah, lasagna and garlic bread tonight because it's fairly easy to prepare, not too much washing up, no stress. So the perfect pre-Christmas meal. I always revert to my favorites at this time of year. So I've been wearing my flower bomb perfume. So outfit of the day is just this and other stories jumper dress and then my sleeper slippers jazzed up with my pretty earrings. <laughs> Day. I have just got changed into my beautiful red self-portrait dress and Manolo heels. I've had my sleeper feather pajamas on all morning while we had brunch. As you saw, eggy crumpets and we opened our prezzies by the fire, which was lovely. Now it is time for canapes. Everyone has now arrived. So we're gonna have canapes again in the drawing room, just enjoying some bubbles for a few hours until the main dinner at around half past four. But I thought I would just quickly show you the outfit of the day. I have in another beautiful pair of Soru earrings, my gentle diamonds, carrots, lab-grown diamond necklace, and I'm just going to pop on my watch. Where is it? Oh, <laughs> this is my dressing table full of prezzies. One of the things that Charlie bought me was this beautiful shah green jewellery box, and I can keep my watch inside.
darlings, it's now Boxing Day. As you'll have seen, it was a wonderful day yesterday. We laid the table in the drawing room and we have left the table up in there for breakfast this morning. Very relaxed outfit of the morning. I've just got on my H&M leggings, H&M long sleeveless knit and my little fluffy Chloe sandals. Charlie is preparing bacon and egg butties for our brunch this morning. So the whole house smells rather delicious. We have just got back from our Boxing Day walk. It was a little bit sunny earlier, so we stole the moment to go for a nice walk. I know Charlie in particular was grateful to just get out of the house for a bit. Um, currently, all the rest of the family are in the village pub, while Charlie and I just catch our breath and kind of reset the house, ready for essentially round two. <laughs> Boxing Day for us is always pretty much Christmas Day again, so we'll get dressed up again, um, and we have the dining drawing room set up for dinner again um but today it's going to be a beef wellington which is actually my favorite dish so i actually prefer the meal today to the traditional christmas dinner i think we are doing um dauphinois potatoes so yesterday you'll have seen a time lapse of getting all of the furniture out of the drawing room and then we bought our old dining table back in here extended it out and we can just about fit 13 people around the table so i'm gonna now get Get it ready for the Boxing Day dinner. So I'll show you a little bit um, of the setup that we have been doing for our festive feasts. So this is our old dining table and I was actually contacted by Maison Margot which is a crockery rental service to see if we wanted to borrow anything for Christmas and I thought yes that is a fantastic idea because even though I did buy enough of the big grey Dalesford plates, um, we would have had enough, but I thought these were just so beautiful and so festive and just really nice to have something a bit special for Christmas. The set itself is actually Oscar de la Renta, Carolina by Oscar de la Renta. So we've been eating our food off these plates and then we've got the really big charger plates which go underneath. We're also renting this gold cutlery. We did get some glasses from them as well um, but I decided in the end to use our anthropology ones. These are the ones with the gold detail on them. A few of them are still in the dishwasher from breakfast but the table looks really really lovely. We've got these three centerpieces which were made for us by a local florist and then these gorgeous sparkly candles. We had them lit yesterday but they have lasted really really well and you might remember that I picked these up in a little boutique in Bath when I went there with Freddy. Lala is ironing the napkins. We're gonna use the same burgundy napkins as we had yesterday. And I think my brother managed to find all of the ribbon that we used to tie up the napkins yesterday. So we'll add that later on. But for now, I'm just going to create the place settings. So it's one less job to do later on in the day. I have been misting the whole house with the Joe Loves Christmas tree fragrance. It really is the most gorgeous festive scent. I feel like I've been spraying so much and we're not even a third of the way through, but I'm determined to try and use it up <laughs> over the Christmas period because it probably won't store for a full year until next year. So when everyone's about to come in later, I'll do one more misting of the drawing room.
five minutes later and we are done. It looks absolutely beautiful, just need the napkins. I have just realized though, I bet Charlie's gonna ask me to swap these out for steak knives later because we're having beef wellington. And we have got for each of the ladies a Clarins cracker. We did the fever tree ones yesterday, but we've got these beautiful ones which were sent by Clarins. I think they have some lovely beauty products inside. I'm sure last year they did men's ones. I'm not sure if they're doing that again this year, but they look rather beautiful and the colour goes perfectly with the room. Yes. How can you look so glam when cocktail shaking? Oh, yeah. Definitely. So dressed for dinner. I was going to wear my bronze birthday dress for Boxing Day, but decided it was a little bit too demanding, so I do have to lift it up every time I want to walk, so I've ended up popping on this lovely dress from Reese and my gold Manolos, just like yesterday, and another pair of Soru earrings. They are just perfect for special occasions, and because it is day three of washing my hair, it is half up and half down, so the earrings make it a little bit more glam. We have been making the Chase uh, Gin Pink Grapefruit and Thyme Martinis. They're quite strong, but very delicious. Charlie is preparing the Beef Wellington. We're not doing canapes today because we think it'd be better for everyone to be really hungry for Beef Wellington and Dauphinoise, so that's what's on the menu tonight. Well, hello my darlings. It is now the 27th of December, the Crimbo Limbo. Today we have been for a nice, very wet <laughs> and blusterous dog walk this morning. And then we had a feast of leftovers over at Lala's house. It's been a very chill day. We then all just collapsed in the drawing room and we've been watching James Bond, No Time to Die. We wheeled the Sky TV back into the drawing room and it is and it was ultra snuggly. It's a three hour long film, so we've actually paused it about halfway through because we are now heading to Soho Farmhouse for dinner. I've got on my Victoria Beckham jumper dress, Lauren Manoogian cardigan, and my gorgeous Bulgari handbag. A quick full length, all the layers, all the cozy layers, just perfectly finished off with the gorgeous bag. Gaze upon the sky. Well, hello my darlings, it is now the 28th of December, that funny time when no one really knows what day it is, and this morning all the family have left, so we don't have the house to our <laughs> we don't quite have the house to ourselves because my brother's four little boys are now here, although they're staying over at the coach house, so we kind of have the house to ourselves. Um, but it is big changeover day today, so we've got lots of bed linen constantly in the wash today, um, towels getting washed, so it's the final kind of busy day, and then I think Charlie and I are just going to basically slob out for the next few days, so I'm probably going to edit this video today to get it up tonight. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we got up to for Christmas, the various outfits, and what <laughs> we've been eating. It has been a really incredible Christmas, our first proper Christmas here at the new house. Don't know how long I'll be able to keep saying the new house because <laughs> we've been here, it'll be two years in April, but yeah, our first proper Christmas here and it has been really, really lovely. Um, so to finish things off, I'm just wearing my lovely and other stories jumper dress. I feel like jumper dress at this time of year 
there is nothing else I'd rather be wearing. Um, and I thought I would very randomly finish with a Netta Porter unboxing. I've just come up to the pink room because the lighting in here is absolutely gorgeous. It's the first sunny day we've actually had in a while. <sighs> this is the room that Charlie's nan stayed in and I've already stripped it and got the bedding in the wash. Um, <laughs> So apologies for the bomb site in the background, but but I actually placed this order the Saturday before Christmas um, This one didn't matter so much because this is items that I'll probably end up wearing at New Year's Eve um, But I did also place Charlie a Mr. Porter order on the same day so Six days before Christmas and they've only just arrived. So unfortunately Charlie's main Christmas presents didn't actually get here in time for Christmas, so I just had to print out pictures and um, show him what his main gifts were. But I basically got him a beautiful purdy gilet, um, a purdy green fleece, some Lululemon tracksuit bottoms, some shorts, and some socks. But I think what Netta Porter and Mr. Porter have done is they now have a distribution center in Italy. Um, so a lot of the stuff takes a lot longer to arrive, which is a bit of a pain, but <laughs> never mind, these bits arrived in time. So, you might be able to see, maybe that's a little bit better, you might be able to see a one of the iconic pink Mac and Mac boxes. It is official, this is now my favorite shoe brand. I just couldn't even dream of shoes this perfect. They really are so spectacular. And I must say, these would make the most incredible wedding shoes. So that is a definite possibility. Um, but I thought how perfect for New Year's. I wore my sparkly ones as you'll have seen throughout the festive season and everyone always compliments them and talks about them. They catch the light and they're just so sparkly and amazing. Um, but these are my newest pair. They have got these beautiful pearls on the toe, the iconic Mac and Mac sparkly bow, and they are a mule style. And I would say that mules are my favorite kind of shape of shoe. I don't typically love when they have a clear toe because if your feet get hot, you just get condensation down there. Um, but I just thought they were spectacular and you've got this gorgeous satin or kind of silk finish heel. They are a true work of art, so I'm definitely gonna wear these for New Year's Eve. I did buy Charlie a couple of pairs of Falk socks. They are the best, they're so great for putting in your wellies, having those walking boot socks to keep your feet so nice and warm. And I saw they had this pair on Netta Porter. I just thought they were quite a traditional kind of Fair Isle pattern. And then we have a few options for my New Year's Eve dress. I'm not gonna do a try on because I just don't have the energy for that right now, but maybe I'll vlog like a New Year's Eve get ready with me. So this is option number one. I do also have my Karen Millen dresses, so I have to really prefer these hugely to one of my Karen Millen dresses in order to keep these, so we'll see. But it does have a little tie for around the waist. I like long sleeve and shorter legs, especially when I'm wearing the Mac and Mac heels, because then it just creates a little bit more of a statement. Um, but the dress code for New Year's Eve is always sparkles, so I thought this one was absolutely gorgeous, and I thought the price was pretty good, actually. Oh my gosh, no, the dress was only £189. I say only. I think even the Karen Millen, Millen dresses are more expensive than that, so I was quite pleased with that. As you can probably see, it is day 752 of not washing my hair, but never mind. And I do still seem to have a little bit of a cold. Don't worry, I have obviously been doing lateral flow tests and it is just your typical winter cold. I feel like I got rid of it for a few days but it seems to be back today but never mind. Darlings, I really hope you have enjoyed this vlog, a few little snippets from all the days of our Christmas. It's been great to just share a few little sneak peeks without doing full-on vlogging so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. At this point, I don't know if that's fluff from my jumper or fluff from Dickie, never mind. Um, but darlings, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and have a fabulous new year if I don't speak to you before. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you, I don't know when. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself for when to do a next video, but I'm sure it won't be too long. So darlings, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will see you next year.